in this lecture and in the subsequent modules, subsequent lectures of this module, we are going to go through an understanding of what is this industry 4.0, what is this 4.0 about and what are the different changes in the revolution that is happening in order to transform the industries towards industry 4.0. So, 4.0 basically corresponds to the fourth revolution in the industries and what is this fourth revolution, what were the revolutions that happened in the past in the industries earlier. We are going to go through each of these in detail in this particular lecture. So, revolution as you know the English meaning of this term is basically some kind of shift, some abrupt change that is required in order to transform the way things have been happening to something which is completely different, an abrupt change in the way things are being done. So, that is the revolution. So, if you look at revolutions in the past, earlier if we go back more than 10,000 10, years ago, our predecessors used to collect food through foraging techniques. So, basically wandering around collecting food, bringing them, eating the food through the collected samples and so on, collect, collected uh, food uh, materials like fruits, vegetables, etcetera, whatever they used to find. So, foraging behavior was there and then it transformed to farming. So, where basically you know different crops were grown, different vegetable plants, different uh, fruits, uh, fruit plantations were started and so on. So, the result of this transformation from foraging to farming was that there was increased production, increased communication between different humans and so on. So, there was growth of food production as the population growth increased and this we are talking about more than 10,000 years back. Then came the industrial revolution where new technologies, new machines were produced, new approaches to the production processes were introduced and this basically shifted the economy from the primitive economy with simple ag agrarian uh, 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 ag agrarian centric economies to more aggressive machine oriented production systems and so on. So, that was the industrial revolution. So, consequently what happened is the economic models changed, the social architecture, the social infrastructure everything also changed with the revolution in the industries with the introduction of new technologies and new approaches. So, the industrial revolution again went through different stages. Back in 1760s to 1840s, it was the first industrial revolution and this first industrial revolution was started with the invention of steam engine trains, introduction of trains, mobility increased, construction of railways basically stimulated the overall revolution. So, this basically resulted in the utilization of machines in production. So, that was the first industrial revolution in the 1760s to 1840s. Then came the second industrial revolution which was during the transition from the 19th century to the 20th century and this came with the advent of electricity and increase of electricity in the society. So, basically when the electricity came into picture and the use of electricity was increased, this basically resulted in mass production, machineries could use electricity for mass production, faster production and so on. Then came the third industrial revolution that was 
in the 1960s and so on. And it was around that time that computers were starting to get popular. So, gradually with the increase of computers, different different computers and computing devices, peripherals etcetera, the transformation in the industries also happened. There were there was more an increased use of digital technologies in the industry. So, the use of computers, digitization and so on was another revolution, the third industrial revolution, which again increased the production of goods and commodities in the industry. So, this basically this production was due to the increase in semiconductors and semiconducting devices and that was almost in parallel with the growth of computers. So, the result was increase in computer, computing technologies such as mainframe computers, personal computers etcetera and eventually the connectivity between these different computers, internet, world wide web all of these basically gradually gradually started and trans and these basically were introduced in the industries to improve the efficiency of the machinery, improve the efficiency of the processes in the industries, manufacturing processes and other processes in the industries and so on. So, that was the third industrial revolution which was basically the introduction of computers and infra information technology in the different uh, machinery and pro uh, manufacturing processes in the industry. The fourth industrial revolution or this industry 4.0, this basically is something which has the origin in the German economy. So, it was required in the early 21st century to uplift the German economy. So, basically it all started that individual industries having individual IT infrastructure everything was there through the third industrial revolution. But then the question is that how could we improve the production even faster and how could we make the processes even more efficient. So, people thought about how things could be done and this happened that there were different different sensors sensing technologies which were also parallelly becoming very popular. So, the introduction of sensors, actuators etcetera along with the regular infrastructure, the IT infrastructure, the internet etcetera together basically was able to transform the existing IT based infrastructure in the companies to much more efficient ones to connected sensed machinery and so on. So, that was the fourth industrial revolution and this is this fourth industrial revolution or the industry 4.0 that we are going through at this moment. So, there is in this industry 4.0 or fourth industrial revolution, we are talking about use of cheap sensors, use of cheap um, uh, actuators these sensors and actuators are very small in size and they are also powerful. So, small sized sensors, actuators, much more powerful internet and IT infrastructure everything together connecting them together and autonomous monitoring use of technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, cyber physical systems use of all of these together is basically how this transformation is happening in industry 4.0. So, in the fourth industrial revolution the industry 4.0, computers have become more sophisticated, they are smaller in size, but much more powerful less energy consuming and these can these computers can be integrated together, they can be connected together and this basically has resulted in the radical transformation of the global economies, the societies and the different industries. So, the fourth industrial revolution this term was coined as the second machine age by professor Eric from MIT and Andrew McAfee from the same institute. So, industry 4.0 which is the synonym of industrial fourth industrial revolution 
this term industry 4.0 was coined in the Hanover Fair in Germany in 2011. So, as you can see it was not too long back that this revolution and the popularity of this revolution the industry 4.0 started. So, only a few years back back in 2011. So, basically about 7 years back the whole thing started. So, it is this phase we started about 7 years back that we are going through now in the industries through this kind of transformation with the help of sensors, actuators, computers, IT infrastructure, much more efficient ones, smaller in size, cheaper and so on and everything connected together. This is this fourth industrial revolution that we are going through. So, what is the scope of the fourth industrial revolution? Smart connected machinery. So, connected means that we are talking about this internet work, internet work, communication, connecting different standalone machinery typically which used to be all IT driven, computer driven and smart means we are using different different for smartness we need autonomous behavior, things which can be detected, corrected and taken forward in a in an autonomous manner that is basically the smartness and this for smartness the introduction of small cheap energy efficient sensors and actuators have made it possible to make machines and connected machines smarter. Then comes the smart factories it is basically similar kind of concept extended beyond simple machinery, but you know having the entire factory operations machinery in the factory all of which made smarter with the introduction of connected sensors connected machines and so on in the in the in the industries and so on. So, we have one lecture on smart factories where we elaborate further on what is this smart factory all about. Then came technologies such as nanotechnology, renewable energy technology, quantum computing, biotechnological interventions innovations like gene sequencing, gene sequencing and so on. So, everything together has helped in the overall growth. IT, then sensors, sensing technology, sensor networks, then we have the biotechnology, gene sequencing, DNA sequencing and so on, nanotechnology and quantum computing. Everything packaged together is helping in the transformation to the fourth industrial age which is industry 4.0 and these are all the different dimensions of this fourth revolution or industry 4.0. So, there has been some profound and systematic change in the fourth industrial revolution. This change has been in innovation, disruption, disruptive technologies have been introduced and this disruption and innovation has happened in both the scale and scope. So, scope has increased many folds and the scale has also increased. So, the number of disruptive technologies and the different dimensions of these different disruptive technologies and the innovations etcetera all of these have been possible with the introduction of all these newer technologies that we discussed just a little while back. So, the scale and scope of innovation of fourth industrial revolution has basically defined today's acute disruption and innovation in technologies and the transformation of industries accordingly. Companies like Alibaba, companies like Uber, Airbnb, Amazon and Flipkart in India. So, all of these companies are basically essentially transforming the way the operations delivery etcetera have been carried on in the past. Everything has changed the way things are happening at present. These are the disruptive disruptors in the industries these companies Airbnb, Uber, Alibaba, Amazon etcetera. These are using different state of the art technologies, technologies such as cloud sensors, sensor networks, technologies such as drones networked drones 
and so on and many many different other technologies are being used by these new players in order to transform the industries and their operations from the way they have been done in the past to the newer ways of doing it. So, these are newer ways in which these companies are working. So, take the example of the iPhone. iPhone was launched in 2007, but since then only within few years billions of smartphones are being mass produced at present. So, almost like everyone has a has an iPhone now almost like everyone not everyone, but almost so. So, you see that how this disruption and and penetration of these technologies are happening and how fast they are happening and in what scale they are happening. Right? So, these are all like different different phenomena that are happening in terms of change systematic and profound change that are happening in this fourth industrial age. Take the company Google, we all know how Google is transforming the world at present. In 2010, as many of us know, just still few years back, Google basically announced the fully autonomous car, full autonomous car. And you know, now already we have seen that self, self navigating cars, fully autonomous cars are already in the roads. In many countries, self autonomous, self driven cars, self navigating cars, autonomous cars are already in the road, they are already being used. So, and that was only a few years back and you see the how the transformation has happened and this has happened due to different different technologies being used in order to enable the use of these autonomous cars, self driven cars. But what is very important also is the increase in the use of technologies such as artificial intelligence and machine learning that is making these kind of newer technologies a reality. So, not only the speed of change, but also the scale of change, the profound change, both are very equally important and are increasing in rapid pace. So, like going back to the 1990s, there were different industry giants in the Detroit area in US, which had a combined market value of 36 billion dollar in terms of capitals. And their overall revenues were in the order of about 250 billion US dollars and the number of employees working in that area was about 1.2 million. In 2014 if you look at in the Silicon Valley, the different industry giants together had a combined market of about 1.09 trillion dollars. So, you see that the capital has increased many fold and on the other hand if you look and compare with these industry giants in the Detroit area in 1990s, in the Silicon Valley area the number of employees was only 1,37,000. So, you see that there is a drastic reduction in the number of manpower that is being used in the industries. So, 1.2 2 million employees to 1.37 lakhs employees being used. And on the other hand, capitalization has increased many fold. So, with reduced number of workforce, we are able to increase the number of the value of capitalization and growth of the industries and con consequently the revenue also, the revenue that is obtained from the different sales has also increased. So, with marginal costs the digital business basically creates unit of today's wealth with fewer workers. We are able to increase the wealth, but with the use of fewer workers and that has been possible with the introduction of digitization and all these technologies that we just mentioned just a while back. So, business providing information goods has virtually zero transportation and replication cost. Consider companies such as Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter and so on. They basically are able to supply 
information centric products information centric goods and so on so there is almost like zero transportation cost that is involved and that is unlike the manufacturing industries which have lot of capital goods lot of transportation costs are involved shipping from one location to another logistics so so much so much of complications are there so this transformation to the introduction of digitization and advanced it and different other technologies is making the scaling up a possibility in this industry 4.0 revolution so in this context of industry 4.0 digital fabrication technologies are able to communicate with biological world now it is possible that through the advancement in technology it is possible that we can have different different sensors inside the physiological systems these sensors and different other advanced technologies are able to communicate with the outside world that means outside the human beings so it is now possible that remotely you could send signals to the human body to perform certain physiological operations within a human without basically having the human go through or, or rather the human being or the patient being able to know what is actually happening so all these things are possible with the introduction of all these new technologies and consequently transformation has been possible in this fourth industrial revolution age transformation of the biological systems physiological systems and so on now it is also possible to manipulate the way the biomolecules within a human body they operate it is possible to sequence the different genes in the body it is also possible to basically manipulate the dna within a body so all these things are possible and it is all possible due to this profound change with the introduction of all these different technologies it biotechnology uh, nanotechnology quantum technology everything you know coming in in order to make all of these transformations possible in this fourth industrial revolution age so designers and architects are now combining computational design additive manufacturing material engineering synthetic biology and so on and consequently they are able to increase the number of production of the number of objects and so on so all of these different technologies will be used in order to increase the production of number of objects and these objects that are also being produced because of the use of all of these different types of technologies it is now easy to mutate these products and also have these products adaptable to different changes in the environments of their operation so mutation of these products some small component you can change within these products without basically changing the entire product you can change some product you can mutate the product and also have some new adaptations of these products with the newer circumstances newer changes in the environment so in the context of the fourth industrial revolution use of ai or artificial intelligence and in fact not only artificial intelligence but machine learning also has made it possible to have self driving cars virtual assessment transitional software discovery of new drugs prediction of cultural interest and many many different other things have been made possible with the use of artificial intelligence everybody knows about the application siri siri basically is nothing but an application of voice search it is an apple product which basically uses artificial intelligence techniques in order to and in order to perform voice search so basically you know somebody speaks and this application will automatically recognize the voice and make searching in the internet possible so that is the siri by apple and it is very similar to the cortana by windows so this is basically the voice search with the introduction of use of strength of ai machine learning and so on so there are different drivers these drivers are basically driving the this change 
change in terms of breakthroughs, scientific breakthroughs that are happening, introduction of newer technologies, transformation overall, current transformation in terms of changes in the mega trends that are happening, future transformation, the tippling points, everything are happening at present with the introduction of all of these techn technologies. These mega trends are due to the introduction of recent technologies and using or leveraging the pervasive potential of digitization and information technologies. So, trends in terms of physical transformation of machinery, manufacturing machinery, digital transformation in terms of the introduction of IT, biological transformation through the introduction of biotechnology, uh, biotechnological systems, all of these are newer mega trends that are happening at present. So, in terms of the physical mega trends, we have now autonomous vehicles, 3D printing, advanced robotics, connected robotics, new materials, lightweight materials, cheaper materials, stronger materials and so on. These are the physical mega trends that are happening at present. Autonomous vehicles are already in place. We now have autonomous trucks, autonomous drones, self. So, drones are basically autonomous self driven you know airborne vehicles which where there is typically no pilot or any kind any kind of human pilot or machine pilot there is no pilot basically these are self driven airborne vehicles aircrafts driverless aircrafts are a reality now and also driverless boats and many other like particularly in agriculture people are now talking about use of driverless driverless um, tractors right so all these are possible with the introduction and use of artificial intelligence and advancement in robotics 3d printers basically you know you give any shape these machines 3d printers they will manufacture a particular product according to the specified shape so these have basically 3d printers have applications in wind turbines medical implants and so on advanced robotics different robotics robotic equipments connected robotic equipments are being used in the automotive industries robots are also used in medical domain for robotic surgery robotic surgery is basically something that is happening worldwide robots and their use in agriculture robots and their use in nursing connected robotics is something that is quite common now in automotive industries in agricultural uh, you know fields connected robots there are different robots you know we ourselves have developed some robots which will go and plant some seeds in the agricultural field so these are these are all these advancements that are happening in different industrial fronts with the advancement of robotics and connected robots newer materials lighter materials stronger materials materials that are recyclable recyclable plastics are basically a reality now use of nanotechnology graphene carbon nanotubes these are also making these materials lighter stronger having different advanced properties for being used in different application domains such as aviation industries uh, for different other manufacturing industries and so on. This digital transformation has been happening and now we have the introduction of sensors, connected sensors, connected actuators and so on. These are all about the use of internet of things. Sensors being used RFIDs, NFCs, tracking of package delivery, typically by courier companies this is quite common complex supply chain monitoring systems these are all a reality now in this fourth industrial revolution we have all heard about use of digital currencies bitcoin for example is one such and use of blockchain for securing bank transactions government transactions and so on companies such as uber are transforming the models of transportation carpooling has has increased the revenues that can be earned by these companies so and also the reduction 
in fuel consumption overall and also consequently reducing the pollution in the environment through the use of carpooling. So, basically you know reduction in fuel consumption, increase in revenue, making everything very sm uh, you know smart uh, in the sense that you know you have all of these different cars and vehicles connected to each other instantly you know which car is where and what is the availability status and protecting the environment from unnecessary pollution all of these things are now possible. Biological transformations, adoption of different technologies such as gene sequencing, DNA writing, recommender systems. So, recommender system in the physiological domain is about like if you tell some of the molecular level uh, you know composition of a human being then what is the best precise drug that should be administered to that particular human that recommendation can come in uh, through the use of different different advanced systems that have been produced now. Cell modification is possible now and also advanced genetic engineering is a reality. Tippling points or the changes that are coming in the future. So, basically by 2025 it is expected that we will have the different clothing, the different fabrics etcetera connected to the internet. There would be unlimited and free storage available to everyone. There would be trillions of sensors connected to the internet and we are going to have a world where there would be some robotic pharmacist which is going to help in the pharmaceutical industry. With this we come to an end of the fourth industrial revolution lecture. We have understood what is this fourth industrial revolution, what were, what were the previous three industrial revolutions that we have seen and in this fourth industrial revolution age, what are the new things that have come in technologies such as self driving cars, technologies such as AI enabled Siri and so on technologies such as connected robots, standalone robots, smart robots being used in different application domains such as agriculture, medical industries, manufacturing industries and so on. Technologies that are going to come in the future and people you know worldwide there are a lot of research works that are going on in different labs in the academia and in the industries R and D industries. All of these things we have gone through and we have also seen how that these transformations are happening gradually and what is the benefit of all these transformations that are happening. So, with this we come to an end these are some of these references that you might want to go through if you are interested to know further about any of these. There are many more references that would be there if you search uh, in the internet or if you look at relevant books like the ones that are listed over here you are able to get much more information about this fourth industrial revolution and industry 4.0. With this we come to an end, thank you.